While flying to an overseas comedy festival, Bully Mammoth's airplane disappeared somewhere over the Caucasus Mountains. The Chechnyan warlord who discovered the wreckage recognized Bully Mammoth from their YouTube page, and instead of executing them, transported them to a dilapidated TV station. Trapped in Chechnyan custody, Bully Mammoth was forced at gunpoint to recreate American comedy television for the Chechnyan public. The following footage was intercepted by an American listening post located 250 miles outside the Chechnyan border. This is Bully Mammoth, mandatory laughter time. I know you're here. You might as well come out. You came a long way, little bat. I had my reasons. Yeah? And what are they? I've traveled the world. I've studied with the experts in martial arts and learned the art of investigation and deduction from the greatest minds in the world. Plus, I'm two credits short of my Le Cordon Bleu cooking course. I can cook a goose, and now I'm here. Yeah? Why is that? There is one master I have yet to learn from. Coach Rigby Powell, sexual athlete and coach. People say you're a rumor, a hoax, but I knew better. Yeah? I tried to disappear. You don't know what it's like being the world's foremost sexual athlete. People clawing at me for sexual tips, and sometimes just the tip. I couldn't sort through my emails asking for sexual advice to get to the pills offering male enhancement. So you have to enlarge your penis, huh? Rule number one, bat. There's always room for improvement, especially when it comes to girth. Well, that's exactly why I'm here, Coach Rigby. You're, you're here for my girth? No, wait, no, no, no. That's, I, I, I mean, I'm here because I, I can never stop testing myself, never stop improving. All right, I've honed every skill except for one. And now I'm here. Yeah? All right, let me get a look at you. Okay, the glutes and quads look pretty good. It'll be handy for some sustained thrusting. The outfit's a little silly, but uh, it's sexy in a niche kind of way. I think, uh, I think the latex folks will like it. All right. All right, I'll work with you. But it's not going to be easy. Nothing in my life has ever been easy, Coach Rigby. Well, it's about to get a lot harder. You see this? I injured my wrist permanently in the trapezium. It was while I was breaking the record for most repetitious thrusting and squeezing and pumping in the 88 Olympics. I'm pretty sure is not a, an event in the Olympics. No. What are you, new? The sexual Olympics. The world's biggest strongest underground sexual competition ever. 130 countries send their finest sexual beings and they start competing for who can last the longest, who can shoot the farthest, and there's also pole vaulting for some reason. Pole vaulting? Is that supposed to be some kind of euphemism? No, we... No, it's really pole vaulting. We don't understand why. It sounds like you're making this up. Hey! Coach Rigby Powell ain't no liar. Get that straight. It was real. There were medals. And if you got pregnant, automatically disqualified. So what? You, you hurt your wrist. Big deal. I fight crime every single night. I hiked up this mountain with three broken ribbies. Yeah? Well, I got a three-inch scar down my back from when a hooker tried to kill me. Yeah, well, my collarbone is, is pinned together by surgical pins. I took a shot of baby bladder right in the eye. Is it yours or someone else's? Tasted like mine. Doesn't matter. All right, I've had my, my back broken over the knee of a psychopath. Yeah? I ate in the 70s. Wow, that, that is impressive. Thank you for your service. Thank you so much. You're right. 
You don't get to be a living legend like Coach Rigby Pal without having a lot of stories under his belt. And a lot right under his belt. Clearly you don't have much to teach me here. You're just a crazy old pervert in a cave. Yeah? You don't get out of here so easily. Don't turn your back on me, Batman. Oh, so that's how it's going to be, is it, Coach Rigby? No one gets out of here quite so easily, Bat. You're going to have to pay. Get him! Kaboom! Wait, now wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Retarded! Come here! Come on! Jesus Christ, man! You should hire some better goons, Coach Rigby! These aren't goons! They're underwear models, you idiot! Do you know what it's like getting underwear models up that hill? They were insisting on wearing high heels. Jesus. Wait, wait they, 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 they attacked me. Yeah, yeah, in like a sexy way. There's some sexy fighting. Everyone takes their clothes off. There's some sex. I get naked. I join the sex. There's a gangbang and some sustained thrusting. And it's fun and a real party. And you went and ruined these girls. Do you know how far we are from a hospital? Uh, I, I, I'm so sorry. I, I totally misread this whole this whole situation. Yes, you did. You did. Hey, 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 get out of here. We don't need you here. And call 911 on your stupid bad phone. Oh, God, I can see bones sticking out. <laughs> <laughs>